Okay, so today on Monkey and Mezzakeen, it is question and answer day because I have so many questions in my emails that I can't just go back and repeat the same answer over and over and over again because a lot of the questions have been, you know, just circulating. It's the same question over and over again. And so I took the top three that have been asked the most and I'm going to turn that into the question and answer video today. So if you will like subscribe and stay tuned because we'll start off with the first one which is going to blow your mind like it did mine and i may or may not make it all the way through that one first question is about my boy my boy tank yeah i can't believe that so many questions about tankers i mean he should have his own show <laughs> um so basically tank is 10 years old almost 11 um he's a little overweight as most people have noticed some people have been downright mean and called him fat which is not nice you know body, body what is it body positivity and you guys are just crushing his soul so knock it off quit calling him fat he's, he's fluffy <laughs> literally so um anyway um, Tank is a German Shepherd Husky mix. Um, we got him when he was a pup. He was named by my girlfriend. And, um, you know, he's just been the best dog ever. I mean, I know I'm going to lose it, so I'm probably going to cut this video off and then have to restart it because he means that much to me. I mean, and he means that much to my entire family. What am I talking about? I mean, this dog is just, he's, he's the heart and soul of this family. And it's just not in this household. It just spreads out throughout the entire family. I don't care if you're an in-law, if you're grandma and grandpa, mom and dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, sister, nephew, nieces, whatever. Tank is the hub of this family and it's so weird how this dog has touched so many hearts and all that stuff. So, um, just he's just a great dog and I appreciate everybody with your comments with him about, hey, I love the old man and all that stuff because it's really great to see him getting recognized because he is such a great dog. Um, a couple of years ago, um, we had to take him into the vet because he had one of those um, fatty tumors on his neck and I wanted to get it removed because, you know, he's feeling a little self-conscious about it, so I had to get it removed. Well, in doing so, we found out that he also had uh, a tumor on his lung that um, was inoperable. And um, this is where I'm probably going to lose it. So, um, yep, I am. So, hold on. Anyway, uh, when we found out all this about tank and stuff um at first they kind of told us it'd be about two three years and we'd probably lose him and um luckily it just stopped growing right? i mean it hasn't grown any bigger as far as we can tell so far um so um they've kind of lifted that two three year thing on us now so um he's got another Bet deal coming up here pretty soon and we're still hoping and praying that you know it's settled and it won't grow any bigger and he'll just tap that little lump there until naturally you know so like i said he's just a pup he's only 10 11 years old and like i said he's the heart of this family so um yeah one day the video is going to be hard Okay, so number two is what was my first video I ever made? The first video I ever made was Belgian Malinois Destructive Don't Leave Home Alone. Mistake made, lesson learned. So, the whole deal behind that video was it was about um, if you've done any kind of background history checking and trying to figure out if you wanted a Belgian Malinois or not, people are always talking about how destructive they are. But they never showed you how destructive they can be. And so that was the whole purpose behind my video was to show that um, when you screw up, <laughs> the dogs are going to be there to catch it. And um, that was my deal. I was trying to show the destruction of what these dogs can do 
and did do. And it wasn't because they were bored or because I was a crappy trainer or because I didn't crate train them and all that stuff. It was because I made a stupid mistake. So bottom line, I, we were moving into the house. Now, mind you, this used to be a two-room schoolhouse. They converted it into a house. Um, everything was brand new in here, including the carpets. <laughs> and um, I can laugh about it now, even though the carpets are still in there because I can't afford to get them changed until next spring. So, you know, to all you people. Eh. But anyway, what happened was, um, yeah. <laughs> the video didn't get edited it didn't get a bunch of things because i didn't know what the heck i was doing i just posted up a video of me rambling on about my carpets my carpets my carpets and um you know truth be told i was the idiot it was completely my fault it wasn't the dogs that were misbehaved well they they misbehaved but it was because of my own stupidity so that's that um i just want to let that one go um, cause every day is a reminder. I actually made the video two months after the incident happened. So, um, it was even more frustrating getting people to tell me this and it's still frustrating to this day. It's been almost what, six months that I made that video and people are still telling me to crate train my dogs and stuff. And it's like, okay, it's enough. Um, it's nice that people are making comments, but, you know, at least read some of the comments beforehand and either like them or put a comment onto their comment because, I mean, I'm getting tired of being told <laughs> what an idiot I am when I already knew I was the idiot. So I don't need other people to tell me that. Hence the name, self-proclaimed idiot. So anyway, that's that. And um, we'll just let it go. I made an updated version of that. And again, that one's pretty... I mean, that first video was the first video I could have ever made, and I'm kind of embarrassed that I put it up, but people tell me to keep remaking it, and I'm not going to because, because it was truthful, it was honest. You'll see all the errors and mistakes that I made. I mean, telling my dogs to go left, and they're going right. I mean, it was just, yeah, it was the worst video ever. So anyway, that's that. That's all I got to say. I'm done with that one. Okay, we'll move on to number three. Okay, so... Question number three, um, <laughs> still laughing about my first video. Um, question number three is, is would I suggest to people to get a male or a female Belgian Malinois? And my answer to that is, I don't know. <laughs> I have one of each and uh, both are awesome. I can't, I can't say one's better than the other and I can't say one's worse than the other. The only downfall that I can figure out so far about Belgian males and Belgian females is the female goes in the heat every six months. That's it. The male's not any smarter. The female's not any smarter. Um, when it comes to physicals, they're the same. So, I mean, I can't tell you. I, I really can't answer that question <laughs> because... I'll take either one. If somebody was to come to my door and say, hey, you want a Belgian Malinois puppy? And I'd be like, okay, well, are you sure it's a pure Belgian? <laughs> I wouldn't even ask him if it was a male or a female. I'd just like, okay, because I'm that kid. Like, like they say, if you're a Belgian owner, you got a little something messed up in there. Well, it's true. I mean, if somebody was to drop off a Belgian puppy out in my front yard, I would not be asking if it's a boy or a girl. I'd be like, is it pure? <laughs> I don't even care about the paperwork, just as long as it's a full blood. So anyway, yeah, that's 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 my answer. I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't suggest a male over a female or a female over a male. I just couldn't do it. Um, both of them are just phenomenal dogs. I mean, I can't, I can't decipher which one I would like better. I. If I was to lose both Monkey and Mezzakeen, and if I was to go and get another puppy. It would be off the recommendation of the breeder and also just walking around and letting the puppies follow me. Whichever one followed me and stayed with me the most would probably be the one I would take. I wouldn't care if it was a male or female. Um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's the best answer I got. So, um, yeah, there you go. 
And that's the worst answer I could give to a question. I mean, this video ain't going to be any better than my last one. So, I mean, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. So, um, like I said, just like, subscribe. Um, let's see if we can get this rolling. If you guys want me to keep on doing this, you know, leave a good comment down there. If you, have, if you think I shouldn't do this, then just put a comment down there. You don't have to be a jerk about it. Just put a comment saying, eh, don't do it. If you like it, we'll keep doing it. But like I said, you gotta like it. If you don't put that like button, if you don't push that like button, then I'm not gonna be able to know. I wanna hit at least 100, maybe 200 likes on this video. If so, we'll keep this going. Um, I'll even take suggestions. Do you guys wanna do it once a week? Do you wanna do it bi-weekly or once a month? I'll let you guys decide. You're the subscribers. You're the ones that want the content. So, you know what? You can even throw a question down in the comments if you want, if you want me to talk about it on another video. And that's that for today. Um, tomorrow is Turkey Day. I wish everybody a happy holiday. Um, enjoy your family and friends. Forget that mask. Don't care about their mandates. Go out and have a great time with your family. I'd rather get sick with my family than to get sick from a stranger. So... As always, have a great day and remember to always take care of your pups.